<clears throat> okay guys, so this is a quick video about how to solve two-step word problems, which involves creating an equation and then solving that equation. So I've got a couple examples here for you. The first one says, Matt spent half of his weekly allowance on candy. To earn more money, his parents let him wash the dog for $10. What is the weekly allowance if he ended up with $15? So what we're looking for here is the weekly allowance. So right there, I'm gonna, I know that's my X, since that was the, the unknown thing. Let's go back and read what happened to the weekly allowance. Matt, Matt spent half of his weekly allowance. So that means whatever his weekly allowance was, it got divided. Oops. Sorry, one second. Technical problem. All right. That weekly allowance got divided by two because he spent half of it. Then to earn more money, his parents let him wash the dog. So he gained... $10. In the end, he ended up with $15. So this equation really tells us how much money Matt had. He had X amount of money at the beginning of the week. That was his allowance. It got divided by two. And then he added $10 from, to that. So now I just need to solve this equation. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract 10 from both sides. So I end up on this side, on the left side, I have x over 2, and the 10 minus 10 equals 0. So on the right side, I have 15 minus 10, which is 5. Now, what's happening to x is that it's getting divided by 2, so I'm going to undo that by timesing both sides by 2. So these 2's were cancel, so I have x equals 10. So that means that his allowance was $10. Let's try the next one. You had $25 to spend on six pencils. After buying them, you had $1. How much did each pencil cost? So at some point you had 25 and then you took money away. So we know we can say we started with $25 and then we took money away. So the question is, what did we take away? First of all, the question's asking us, how much did each pencil cost? So the pencil cost, that's going to be my x. And there were six pencils. So in order to know how much money was taken away, we would want to subtract six times that pencil cost. And left over was $1. Now I just need to solve for x. So over on, on the left side of the equation, what's separating the 25 and the 6x is a subtraction. However, I'm not going to add 25 because 25 is positive. So I'm going to get rid of it by subtracting 25. So on this side, also minus 25. So on the left side, I have negative 6x. And on the right side, I have negative 24. Now, 6 is getting multiplied by negative 6, or x is getting multiplied by negative 6, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6, and that will cancel here. Divide this side by negative 6. So 24 divided by 6 is 4, and a negative divided by negative is a positive. So my answer is $4. Okay. So... The next problem I'm going to do is number three here. How old am I if 500 reduced by three times my age is 230? So the problem is asking me how old I am. So how old am I? That's going to be my x. So reading this problem actually is going to be a real big clue on how to make my equation. 500 reduced by three times my age is 230. I can literally take that and make an equation. 500 reduced by 3 times my age. We said my age is going to be x, so 3 times x is 230. Now I just need to solve for x. So again, x is being separated with a 500 with a negative. 
with a minus sign, so that means I have to add or subtract to get rid of that 500. The 500 is positive, so I'm going to subtract 500. So on the left side, I have negative 3x. And on the right side, I have 230 minus 500, which is hmm, negative 270. Now I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 3, since x is being multiplied by negative 3. So on this side, those 3's cancel, so I have x equals 270 divided by 3. That's kind of tricky, but I already know that 27 divided by 3 is 9, so 270 divided by 3 must be 90. And a negative divided by negative is a positive. So I am 90 years young. Okay. Jose's Bikes rents bikes for $20 plus $2 per hour. Alberto paid $26 to rent a bike. For how many hours did he rent the bike? So the unknown in this case is hours. That's going to be our x. <coughs> so... Alberto paid 26 total to rent the bike. So we know our equation is going to equal 26. To get to that $26, he paid $20 plus he paid $2 per hour. So 2 times x is going to give you $2 for every hour he spent with the bike. Now I just have to solve this equation. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So I have 2x equals 6. And then divide both sides by 2. x equals 3. So those are the four types of problems you're going to see with these two-step equations. I highly recommend you rewatch the video if you are working on the worksheet and are stuck.